Hi, welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make these lovely little felted acorn ornaments which I sell in my Etsy shop. Are you ready? In order to make that felted ball that will go into our acorn cap, we'll go ahead and pull off some roving. And you can just do it like this. Hold it on either end and gently pull it apart. And you'll see those nice feathery ends. That means you did it, you did it right. <laughs> so what we'll do is um, we'll roll this into a ball and then we'll start punching it with our needle. And that's needle felting. So see how I'm rolling that up nice and tight? And then I'm going to punch it, punch, punch, punch with my needle. And keep shaping it like a ball, turning it and punching it and turning it and punching it. I won't film all this, but as I go, I like to add, you know, another layer or two of the felt. And putting the fibers crossways helps with the felting. Another thing that you want to keep in mind is that when we go to the wet felting stage, this is going to shrink down significantly, probably about uh, two-thirds of the actual size. So, or maybe a third of the actual size. It's a random process. Now, I used to only needle felt my acorns, but I started wet felting them because I really liked how the wet felting stage uh, firmed up the ball so it was nice and hard, and it also gave it kind of a nice finish. It wasn't as furry. So you could go ahead and needle felt this until it's really firm. I do like to roll it in my hands like this too. Um, or you could do it the way I do, which is needle felt it, for several minutes and then wet felt it. I'm not going to film all this but keep going <laughs> until you're you're tired <laughs> and then what we'll do is um, we'll take it down to the sink and we'll do our wet felting. Okay we're at the sink. I'm using this wonderful boot tray that I picked up at Home Depot and I just love it. Can you see that? It's got texture here on the bottom. It's only about ten dollars and it's really great for wet felting because it provides some uh, something to agitate the fibers against and it, it speeds up the process. I've added the soapy water. I've got several needle felted balls over here and what we'll do is we'll just introduce them to the wet soapy water gently rolling them around I like to do several at once for efficiency's sake <laughs> because it does take a while to get these made and you like to do a lot at once if you're selling them especially. The other nice thing is if you have several sizes to choose from then you'll be sure to uh, have the right size acorn cap and right size ball that fits that acorn cap. Does that make sense? Okay, so you can see I'm just gently rolling them around. Then I'll put them in my hands. I might take a little more dishwater soap. I just use the seventh generation soap that I use for dishes. And I'll just gently roll it around. You don't want to put too much pressure on them at this point because they'll turn into little flying saucers rather than little felted acorn balls. So don't apply too much pressure. Just be gentle with them until they start to firm up. And as they start to firm up, You'll be, you can apply more and more pressure until they become harder and harder. And you can, you can actually compress them down almost to marble hard. Uh, but for these, you don't have to go that hard. Just keep working them until you're happy with them. There's really no perfect uh, hardness for these acorn caps. They're not going to get handled a lot. Uh, just make them firm enough that they, they hold up and they fit the acorn cap. So you can see I'm just gently rubbing it. I can feel it actually getting smaller right now um, already. The needle felting is what helps speed this process up. A lot of people do, don't do do the needle felting ahead of time and they spend a lot more time at the sink. So I'm not going to film all this but just keep doing what I'm doing. Adding more soap and more hot water as you go. And 
Then when you're finished, you have the felted balls, the size and the hardness that you like. Rinse the soap and water out with cold water and let them sit overnight to dry. That's it. To drill the holes, we'll just go ahead and put in a the smallest bit we have. This is 1 16th, I believe. And we'll just um, go ahead and drill. Drill two holes, one on either side of the other. And um, I like to drill a lot of these at once because it is messy and also you never know what size that little felted ball is going to turn out to be. So it's nice to have a variety of sizes of caps to choose from. Next we're going to string up our acorn cap and glue the felted ball into it. And we'll be all done. So what I like to do is just use embroidery thread and I like to use, just use one single strand of it. So I unwind it and just pull one strand of the six out of there because it's nice and thin that way. But choose whatever you like. And just like the cooking show, I already strung up an acorn cap with the thread so it's ready to go. I've already matched up all the felted balls with their own little acorn cap. And then what I want to do is put a little hot glue in there or other glue and then push the felted ball in there. And that's all there is to it. Now you have your little acorn ornament.